Alright guys, welcome back to the channel and episode number 11 of this WWE 2K17 Did You Know series in which we'll be taking a look at 5 more things you might not know about WWE 2K17. Did you know it's possible to switch between your stored finisher and signature moves? Whenever you perform a move which helps increase your momentum, reaching 100% gives you access to perform one of your signature moves which when performed then boosts your momentum to 150% and gives you access to your finisher. However, should you choose to continue using regular moves once you reach 100% momentum, once your momentum reaches 150% you'll actually lose access to your signature move and instead have access to your finisher. Rather than miss out on using your signature move though, you can actually switch between signature and finishing moves by pressing in the left analog stick meaning you can still perform form your signature move even if you've since earned a stored finisher. Did you know it's possible to use the hair dye feature to dye facial hair as well as head hair? This one comes from Colan Robinson who reveals it's possible to use the feature to not only dye the hair of a superstar but also their facial hair such as a beard or a moustache allowing you to create some pretty cool creations by adding a dash of colour or helping update certain superstars such as Randy Orton to add a more distinguished thicker fuller beard reminiscent of his current look. Did you know Roman Reigns Superman Punch can be performed as a catch-in or catapult finisher? This one comes from Hakan who reveals that in WWE 2K17, 2K Sports have updated the Superman Punch so that it can now be performed as a catch-in finisher by pressing the finisher button as your opponent jumps off the top rope. Additionally, it can also be used as a catapult finisher by whipping your opponent into the ropes and then pressing L1 on PlayStation or LB on Xbox to propel them in there when they rebound towards you, at which point you want to press the finisher button to perform the Superman Punch. Additionally, what you might not know is that despite Reigns having the move as a catapult finisher, it's actually not set as his finisher. Reigns actually has two variations of the Spears, his in-ring and ringside finishing moves, but due to the frequency of him using the Superman Punch in catching situations on TV, 2K have set the Superman Punch to overwrite the Spear as his catching and catapult finishers. Did you know it's possible to perform simultaneous OMG suicide dives at the same time? This one comes from You So Crazy and is actually a really cool feature to use when playing tag team matches as you can set your opponents up in the rope position and then simultaneously perform the moves to pull off stereo suicide dives like the Usos do either from the same side of the ring or even on alternate sides which give you a pretty cool look and crossover animation. This is it! Here it goes! And now Jey Uso could have this match in the back! Following on from a previous fact in which we revealed it's possible to play as Lana using a special uploaded creation from What's the Status on Xbox One, did you know it's actually possible to play as the other managers in the game such as Paul Heyman and Ted DiBiase? This is also possible due to What's the Status, who's actually uploaded these new alternate tiers for the game's managers, however unlike general alternate manager tiers, you can actually use these ones to wrestle with, allowing you to play as the likes of Heyman or Ted DiBiase, which again, referring back to a previous fact, allows you to make use of Ted DiBiase's win animation which is actually included in this year's game. To download these playable managers, simply head on over to Community Creations on Xbox One and search for What's the Status, which will then give you access to download these managers which you can actually use in matches. The following Triple Threat Contest is a no disqualification match. Making his way to the ring from Omaha, Nebraska, weighing in at 255 pounds, Ted and his opponent. First, from Brooklyn, New York, weighing in at 218 pounds, Paul. And from Calgary, Alberta, Canada, weighing in at 235 pounds, So with that, that brings us to the end of today's video, but if you've got any lesser known features, secrets, hints or easter eggs that you'd like me to cover, let me know about it in the comments and I'll give you a shout out in the next episode. Also, let me know your thoughts in the comments on all of today's features as well as how many you knew and if you enjoyed the video, I would love it if you could drop a like to show your support and if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification icon so that you can be notified whenever a new episode is released. As always though, until next time, have yourself an awesome day, I'll catch you later.